नमस्कार इंडिया मेटोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम्स यू इन डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग सो हाइलाइट्स ऑफ टूडेज डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग आर दैट द कोल्ड डे टू सीवियर कोल्ड डे कंडीशंस ओवर पंजाब हरियाणा नॉर्थ राजस्थान एंड वेस्ट यूपी आर लाइकली टू डिक्रीज फ्रॉम टूडे एंड अपेट फ्रॉम एलेवेंथ ऑफ जनवरी एंड आइसोलेटेड रेनफॉल लाइट रेनफॉल एक्टिविटीज लाइकली ओवर पंजाब हरियाणा राजस्थान वेस्ट यूपी एंड एम पी ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स एंड ड्राई वेदर इज लाइकली देर आफ्टर एंड द थर्ड हाईलाइट ऑफ टूडेज डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग इज दैट ओवर तमिलनाडु एंड केरला आइसोलेटेड हैवी रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी इज लाइकली टू कंटिन्यू ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी फोर टू फोर्टी एट आवर्स एंड देर आफ्टर ड्राई वेदर इज लाइक likely over the region so if we look into the rainfall realized over tamil nadu during the past 24 hours ending at 8:30 hours ist so we can see over here that over the districts of villupuram and chengalputtu 13 to 19 cm of very heavy rainfall at in fact three stations and uh, uh, heavy rainfall that is between 7 to 11 cm has been realized over five stations of uh, uh, of of uh, coastal tamil nadu and then uh, uh, cold day to severe cold day conditions have been observed over some parts of uh, punjab haryana north rajasthan and even uh, even uh, the uh, uh, central parts of uh, west rajasthan and uh, also uh, and uh, and and over the adjoining parts of west up which are which are adjoining to haryana and uh, dense to very dense fog has been observed in morning hours uh, uh, over uh, parts of uh, parts of haryana uh, rajasthan and 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 up and also over east mp uh, uh, in the in the morning hours uh, observed at uh, 5:30 hours ist of today so if we uh, talk about the uh, uh, weather warning for next 5 days so first of all if we look into the uh, synoptic systems uh, for today so a western disturbance is uh, roughly along uh, 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 longitude 72 degree uh, east and and uh, to the north of 28 degree north and also there is a cyclonic circulation over haryana and neighborhood but at the same time we also have a trough in lower level easterlies which is which is running from a cyclonic circulation uh, that cyclonic circulation is over uh, Uh, that cyclonic circulation is over south east arabian sea and adjoining parts of uh, east central arabian sea and from here a trough is running to south gujarat and uh, this trough is is in easterly so it is acting as an impediment to the uh, to the rainfall activity over over northwest india uh, if this uh, lower level easterly trough would not have been there so we could have uh, gained a good amount of rainfall activity over punjab haryana Rajasthan and uh, West UP as well, uh, but uh, cloudiness is there today uh, due to the, this WD and the associated uh, systems and. Uh, and this cloudiness uh, uh, can be seen in this uh, 930 hours ist imagery from uh, inside 3dr and uh, we can see over here that the moisture incursion is happening there uh, from the northeast arabian sea into the northwest india so under the influence of this isolated light rainfall activity may occur over punjab haryana uh, rajasthan and also over parts of uh, west up so uh, during next 24 hours and thereafter dry weather is uh, likely over the region so this will cause impact on uh, the on the rise in maximum temperatures as we can see here that the maximum temperatures are 3 to 6 degree below normal over punjab haryana uh, west up and rajasthan and uh, these uh, maximum temperatures are likely to fall uh, likely to rise from tomorrow and uh, which will give uh, respite uh, from the uh, prevalent cold day conditions so as we can see here that today there is a likelihood of continuation of uh, uh, cold day to severe cold day conditions in some parts of uh, punjab and haryana and tomorrow uh, this cold day conditions would be uh, uh, slightly uh, reduced and there would be only cold day conditions of punjab punjab haryana and rajasthan and thereafter the cold day conditions are likely to be abated from 11th of january uh, but uh, but dense uh, fog conditions are likely to continue during next 2 uh, to 3 days over the plains of uh, plains of north india and it is likely to 
uh, likely to uh, 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 reduce in intensity and spread from 12th of uh, from 12th of january so that was about uh, uh, about uh, maximum temperatures and the uh, associated cold air conditions and if we talk about minimum minimum temperatures so as we can see here these are the actual minimum temperatures and these are their departures so we can see over here that the minimum temperatures are running uh, in the in the above normal category uh, and which are in the range of 2 to 4 and uh, at uh, some uh, places uh, 2 to 5 degree centigrade above normal so these minimum temperatures are likely to uh, likely to fall from tomorrow as the western disturbance uh, tomorrow uh, uh, moves away from the northwest india so thereafter we will see uh, by about 2 degree centigrade uh, fall over northwest india and also 2 to 4 degree centigrade fall over madhya pradesh and even over madhya uh, even over maharashtra during subsequent uh, 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 subsequent 72 hours so uh, that was about uh, fog conditions cold air conditions and minimum temperature scenario and if we then talk about the heavy rainfall activity which has occurred over uh, tamil nadu so this activity is likely to uh, 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 likely to continue even today even today we are uh, expecting uh, uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall over south kerala and south interior tamil nadu today and uh, for, uh, tomorrow we are we are expecting only isolated heavy rainfall uh, with light to moderate uh, uh, rainfall at uh, isolated to some places and thereafter there is no heavy rainfall warning in fact thereafter there is uh, not even uh, light to moderate rainfall um, uh, uh, possibility over tamil nadu and kerala and it may uh, give an indication of uh, 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 withdrawal of north uh, northeast monsoon as well so that's all for today tomorrow we will again meet with delhi weather briefing for weather warning during next five days thank you and goodbye